Hi YouTube, this is me Andrew here. It's been a long time since I've done a screen recording. Um sorry. Screen done um a screen a screen recording, but I thought I might show you what show you what I am using now. It's uh this is an X-Mint 17.1 and cinnamon it's 64 bit it's, it's, it's 64 bit this is on of course my Dell on my Dell on my Dell <coughs> sorry about this I do have a stutter so so please forgive me for my stuttering but yes um, this is installed on the hard drive of my Dell which is the XPS um, 13 inch and uh, so far it's very nice um, I thought we might have a look through these little things here so this came out um, I think um, on the 19th of November of last year as far as I know um, this is a blink oh sorry this is a blog of the Lynx Mint um, sort of dev team I suppose um, gives you a bunch of information about it and all that mid sums so we can download it from uh, this one might be a bit more so well here's a home page for of course the distro here this is a home page for the distro and uh, this, is, this is so it tells you a few notes for the release. The code name is Rebecca. Um, so key binding, blah blah blah. Um, so far, I've had no trouble at all with this. Um, so before this, I I um, had a Bluetooth I had a Bluetooth gnome installed, and. Uh, that was fine. Um, I um, had install fourteen point ten, and to be honest, I found it a bit buggy. You know, um, some things would not work properly, um, and the screen recording software I'm using right now is um, it's called Simple Screen Record, which, yeah, is Simple Screen Recorder. Sorry, and um, this is the guy who was made by. Um, with Martin, Martin Bar. I can't say his his surname. Sorry, I think it's Martin Bart, or I don't know. Anyway, it's it's very very good. Um, it's simple. It's it does, it does the exact same thing as you think it should do. It goes and records the sound as well as the video, which is great. And that's all that I want really, you know, just do that. Um, I have been using Voco screen before and that was okay, but uh, I installed this, um, as I said, just just, just in in the previous version of Linux, which was, which was a Bluetooth GNOME and um, yeah, I found I found a buggy. Um, for some reason, it did not record the um, sound, but it seemed to record the video. Um, I don't know why. So sound, no, but video, yes. I don't know why that was very strange. Um, I find the GNOME desktop a bit sort of slow, sort of resource hungry. Maybe maybe it uses more RAM or something. Because um, you know this this is just. 13 inch laptop so it's quite small and of course it has no room for has no room for heaps of hardware so it's very uh, sort of lightweight and small um, so I think a cinnamon desktop is definitely faster for me and for my purposes um, it says here it says here that if you install Skype and um, in, in the 64 bit version, you may have to install this package so it works. That's fine. Oh, yes, um, so these days you have laptops that are very high res screens, 
and that can be a bit of an issue because some things don't sort of render properly. Um, but it says here that this has high has high DPI, and that is um, set. Just you know, as soon as you start, it's, it's, it sets out for you if you have a high res monitor, that sort of thing. Um, blah blah blah. If you if you have a, if you have a GeForce sort of GPU that could be freezing. Um, I don't have a GeForce. I just um, have an Intel uh, Intel uh, three thousand thingy. Uh, what's it called? The Intel. Yeah, here we go. It's the Intel HG. The Intel HG. 3000 and uh, it's one one of those types that are part of the CPU like um, it's integrated it is an integrated one which is fine for normal day-to-day -day use but if you plan to play, plan to play sort of video games though it won't work very well because um, it's not as fast as a dedicated sort of GPU which has that has its own hardware and is separate and uh, is much faster of course for video games or and, and all and all and all of that sort of thing. Um, hopefully this is still recording. It uh, says it is which is good. Um, I have Dropbox installed here as well. That's good. Um, this here is just docky because I think it's fun to have a dock. Um, settings start when blah 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 I've made it smaller I made the I made it so it's a 3D background that sort of thing uh, uh, I don't have have docky icon here because if you install sort of gconf which is a configuration sort of uh, software that lets you change a few things you go into apps then uh Docky to Docky then items Docky item if you go and untick this one here saying show Docky item it gets rid of the as you say Docky item so if I I've, I've ticked that now I close that and there's Docky item but of course I don't want that do I so gconf so I go back here apps uh, docky 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 there we go items docky item no don't want that beautiful um, and the good thing about about Simon desktop 2 is that it's very customizable like uh, for example over here for the menu for for the apps and stuff I've uh, changed it so I have a tux icon here instead of the um, instead of the default one. You can just change that here. I download. I, I've downloaded. I've downloaded. I've downloaded this icon here, here from Google Images. Um, very easy to do. Easy and simple. And uh, and these ones here are the very various sort of applets you have. Um, you can store. Here's a. Uh, so documents I have opened. I, as you can see, I have had a few few goes at this screen recording software. Um, here's my here's my profile, which so far is blank. Here's the internet, uh, sound of course, and uh, battery. This is a uh, for a simple screen recorder, and that of course is, is Dropbox. And this is for the update stuff, like uh, and like for the updating of packages and that sort of thing. If, you, if I press on that, it tells me if there's stuff to up if there's stuff to update. Um, so right now there is not. So I could press I could press on the refresh button here, and there might be some to update, but I don't think there is because I updated it a short time ago. Of course, here is the date and time. I'm in 
I'm in Australia, in the city of Brisbane, and uh, so that's me. And here's the settings for everything. Backgrounds. It does have some nice backgrounds that come installed by sort of default, which are nice. So here's a uh, here's a default one that comes. This sort of comes on there. So here's Rebecca, which is 17.1, which is the one I am using now. And it's very, very beautiful, very beautiful backgrounds here. I, don't, I think I think they might have a competition, and uh, and people go and submit, go people go and submit backgrounds. I uh, I'm not too sure, but some but here's a weird thing though. Um, if I go, uh, if I go and open the settings, it gives a Bluetooth icon down, down here. Now, that's a bit weird. I don't know why it does that, but I, I don't really care to be honest. Um, here's the previous releases here, and their background sort of pictures. Um, if you hear a sound, that is the fan in the laptop. Um, so, sort of spinning up seems to have died down again now. Um, I feel like a just a plain one that's not too sort of distracting because uh, like this one here is, is, is quite nice, a bit too sort of blue maybe, but they're all blue really, aren't they? Um, happy summer, is that nice? Beautiful. Um, Oh yeah, if you go into themes, gives you a uh, choice of themes to go and use. Um, so right now I am using I am using Balder, and uh, and I have the white cursor which is of default, and um, I face the as the icon which which as the icons here, which I think is is my. Is my favorite one I think of all time because it's simple it's uh it's beautiful it's high res it's nice and window borders here that sort of thing um, so if you want to check out some more themes you go press on this button here and you go online oh, these are ones I have installed from from here from here uh, so press on that uh, I press on this first some time ago and as soon as you do that it goes and checks the themes online I guess on on a server somewhere some repo or something and um, if you press on refresh you'll go and check if it check it, if it has some more and uh, these are sorted by how popular they are so I think Balder is my favorite because it's grey so white on top here I guess like Mac OS, I guess you could say, and um, I guess Docky is uh similar to, to the sort, to the sort sort, sort of Dock you have in Mac OS as well, um, but I I I don't really care to be honest, um, so you have the, have the you have the expose of course and uh, and desktops, a bunch of desktops that's fine. I don't. I, I. I don't tend. I don't tend to sort of sort of use workshop. Um, so sort of, I don't tend to use sort of desktops very very much. Apart from just of course the one, so it works. But just one desktop is is fine for me. I don't. I don't really care. Really, it's fine. Um, if you grab this and bring it down here, it's uh it's shut. Or you could just uh go into the expose view and press. On the X icon, and that shuts it too. Um, so really, so oh yeah, as well. Um, it has heaps of things installed by default, which are great. Um, it, uh, for example, it has GIMP has has GIMP installed by default, and uh, GIMP is great though. Like, if you make drawings, if you some sort of artist, GIMP is like a it's like Photoshop, but it's free and it's open source, and uh, it's it's great. It's like it saves you having to pay for Photoshop because it's free, obviously, and that's great. It comes f comes installed, 
and it's fantastic. Um, it came with VLC installed too, VLC, which I think is the best video player, hands down, the best. Um, if you have hardware that needs um, self driver installed, you just press on that one just then. And it checks if the driver is too installed. <coughs> Sorry, and checks if the drivers they can go install for for your hardware. Um, so right now I don't have drivers installed. It's the default ones, and they work fine for me. Um, so yeah. Oh yeah. Um, and transmission is is transmission is installed by default too, and it's great for torrenting. If you want to go download. So, um, if, if you want to go and download sort of a movie or music, that sort of thing, um, it, it's a great program to use, very, very fast, very simple, um, and um, it has, has Synaptic installed too, and um, that's great for just sort of um, for going and installing and then deleting a bunch of packages if you want to. Like here, I can go type in Dropbox, and here it says I have Dropbox installed. Um, I have the Nemo one because this is the name of a uh, of a Windows manager here. If I, if I press Help and then About, it says Nemo, and that's the name of it pretty much. So I had to go and. Oops, sorry. I had to, um, I chose that one and that downloaded. And as soon as that had, had, had finished, I finished downloading. I went and I went and started Dropbox, started Dropbox, and that went and that had downloaded these, and that went and downloaded, downloaded the Dropbox sort, sort of client for me which is uh, this thing here. Um, so it works better in a Nemo. Uh, anyway, I'm sure this is quite a long video, so I'll, I'll, I'll stop it there. Thank, thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.